Hello, hello. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I'm Laya and welcome to this productivity session. If you've practiced yoga with me before and you're like, what's going on Laya? Why are we not doing yoga today? We will be doing some movement, but today we're doing a productivity session. I hope that this space will sustain or whatever it is that it needs to do for you today. I, I can't, I can't even tell you, you'll see it in a little bit, um, how much I get done when I just focus in. I cannot focus for very long because they are throwing distractions at me. So I have to very consciously choose to not go to the distraction and go to my project instead. And this is why I thought that I would start to add this here because yes, I am an accessibility yoga teacher, but also a lot of the work that I do is surrounding slow living, chronic pain, chronic illness, disability, and all that I believe um, can be really supported by sessions like this because it also creates a space where I'm like, okay, once I'm done with this, if I got nothing else done all day, like I could probably like be content, <laughs> you know? And I don't know about you, you have your own goals, your own intentions and how much you need to get done every day, but I know what my minimum is and then everything else is like, yay, extra, cherries on top. Let me know also, I would love to know, what are you working on today? Share in the chat, what is it that you're gonna be diving into? I know that there were a couple of people last week that just had ideas that they had been thinking about, oh, maybe I could write a book, maybe I could write a story. And by the end of the, of the session, they had started that. They were doing what they wanted to do. They had started writing. So um, Siva is working on poetry or doodling. Fantastic. Cat, picture book revisions. Ash, working on drawing characters. Haven't drawn in so long. You draw characters? Good to know. Good to know. <laughs> um, Gabby, today I'm working on my new Insight Timer course. Wonderful. Oh, hi, Gabby. Hello, hello. Um, so wonderful. So yeah, so I love, I love to see that variety of stuff. Um, Fontana's working on a mother-daughter memoir. Suarez working on a social scientific article for a book. Do you see the variety? Gio is working on an outreach for art workshops. So this is what I love. It's not that you have to be writing a book already or doing anything in particular already. You could grab your knitting things and just knit for a while or read a book. The idea is just to focus for a while and move the distractions away so that you can feel like you efficiently use your time in however way you want it to because ultimately it is a choice i know it hurts to hear sometimes i know it hurts me when i find myself scrolling endlessly i'm like laya this is a choice so i'm gonna go ahead and set this to 25 minutes now what i usually do is i leave hold on 25 minutes on the cube. What I usually do is leave the mic open. I have my fan on because it's hot as hell here. Um, you may hear my chickens crowing around. Nature, I live in the woods. Um, maybe motorcycles or a couple cars that may pass by. Um, if you don't want to hear that, you can mute yourself. If I step away or if I'm coughing a lot or anything like that, I will of course mute the mic. 25 minutes on the clock. We will meet again in 25 minutes. Happy productivity, my friends. See you on the other side.
Okay. That's 25 minutes, my friends. How did you do? Wherever you, whatever you're doing, just come to a pausing point or a stopping point if you want to. If you're like, I'm in the flow, Laya, do you? But um, I find that what works about Pomodoros is not just the productivity sprint, but also taking the break. So I'm going to make sure that I set a five minute timer for us to take a break. Here it is. Kat says, got in the flow. Sure, it, I did well. Rachel, oh my god, I was so distracted, but checked off two things. Checked off two things is great. Um, and also, I think it's super important that you notice that you're distracted. Because it could be a momentary thing, or it could be just your energy today. And just knowing that is helpful, I find. So, um, I what did I do? Um, I finished editing the scene, one of the scenes from chapter 22 of my cozy fiction novel um, and then I realized that there, <laughs> that there was a couple of chapters out of order. Um, I'm writing from two points of view and so I alternate and I realized that there were a couple of things that are, are just messing up the uh, timeline so I had to play with that that's why I was writing it down. Um, Jessica I can't believe it was 25 minutes already I know it goes by super fast Ash says, pretty good. It was hard at first. I experienced a lot of self-doubt with drawing, but in the second half, I got into the flow. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I hope that you are drawing for you. Um, that's the only way I can get through my writing. It's just by knowing that it's, it's something that has to come out. Period. Um, Gabby, I got in the flow. This sprint, uh, I do these sprints on my own, but I love working with others. Yes, I do them every day on my own. Um, but this is more fun, and I think the accountability part of like, you know what, I could get up and go do something, but I'm like, nah, I'll just stay because I know we're all just trying our best. Uh, Gio, this is nice. I agree, this is nice. Oh, I'm glad that you like the bird song. Um, we have lots of different birds here. There's this giant oak tree over my house, and maybe one of these days I'll clean the window, but I can't guarantee I'll do that, and then I'll show you. <laughs> but um, it's a beautiful tree, and... Um, we have woods here and deer and all sorts of nature, so um, it's pretty calm and chill. Uh, yeah, I think I think it was I don't know was it Ash that asked earlier like is that actual birds? Like, yeah, yeah. Um, we have this app that um, you can just like put it up like this and it will tell you what the birds are that are going on. Um, I'm in Florida right now. I will trade your, our, your birds for our neighborhood woodpecker. We have woodpeckers too, I, you know, and that's the thing, like it's a cycle of life. I have chickens. I have learned that chickens are also part of the circle of life. I can try to keep them alive, but everyone and everything wants to eat my chickens. You know, it's part of living in nature. There's also a lot more bugs than in the city, but you know. Uh, Imani, agreed. I associate bird song with my ancestors in a heavy way, so it's lovely to hear them show up so noisily. They are loud all day long, and we love it. And the peacocks, yes, we have peacocks here. We have peacocks, and you know what's funny is that um, I'm from Barcelona, and I, I grew up, if you've ever taken any yoga classes with me when I'm in Europe, I do them from my parents' rooftop which um, is right next to the, well, not the rooftop, the house is next to the zoo. And my entire life I heard peacocks and saw peacocks because they escaped the zoo and they walk around the park. And so when I moved here, I remember telling my partner when we first started, I was like, peacocks. And he was like, how do you know? And I was like, doesn't everybody know what a peacock sounds like? <laughs> uh, yes, Jessica, I love the Merlin app for identifying birds. That's the one we used to. Um, is it hot in Florida? I don't know. I I like heat. We like as you can see, we have the windows open. We don't use air conditioning. So is it hot? I don't know. It's as hot as I I don't know. I, I like I like to think that I can self regulate. I much rather be in heat than in cold. But that's just me. So um we have a little bit over one minute. Again, I'm not super strict on the breaks. What I'm gonna do for sure though is stand up and move. So I would invite you, if standing is something that's available for you or that's something you wanna do, stand up and just shake for a moment or whatever you wanna do or stretch out, I don't know. Hmm. Yep. Oh, that feels good. 
yeah, we have a heat advisory too. You know what? I find that in May here was a lot hotter than June and July have been because it wasn't raining. And here, yeah, yeah, it's hot and like I'm, I'm sweating, like I'm sweating, you know, like I'm sweating. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know. It doesn't bother me very much, but I understand that heat is not that fun for a lot of people. Um, we also take cold showers in the afternoon and that usually is a great refresher. Um, Ash, Leela's asking you how book writing went. I'd love to know too. Um, yeah. Ooh, there's the timer. So, thank you, timer. You're very kind. I'm going to switch it again to 25 minutes. Do y'all feel like doing another sprint? I guess that should be the first question. If, Because <laughs> if you're like, hey, that was great. Uh, I'm solid. Wonderful. Or that's all the time you had. Well, I hope that that was fruitful and that you got a little bit done. But let me know if you want to do another sprint. I'm going to keep sprinting no matter what. Yeah. Um, but just let me know. Rachel's like, yes, more sprints. All right. So the timer is set. Also a reminder, drink some water or tea or coffee, whatever you have. Kat says, yes, please. Imani, yes, please. All right. Hmm. And as you see, like I take my time because there's no rush. Slow living, my friends. That's what it's about for me anyway. All right. So if you just joined us, we're about to start our second sprint. In some of the other sessions, we had done a first sprint that was 10 minutes just to kind of warm up. But today, y'all were feeling ready, and so we went straight for a 25-minute sprint. This is what's called Pomodoro Sprints. Um, it is a system that combines 25 minutes on of productivity on whatever project you choose, and then 5 minutes off. There are also people that like doing 50 minutes on and 10 minutes off. I've tried that, and... My brain won't go for that long. Sometimes it does, you know. Sometimes I'm doing a 25 and I end up going for longer. But I just like to be safe and just say 25. <laughs> yeah. Lila says, it's gone well. Got another 700 words. Wow, you are such a fast writer. It's amazing that you write that fast. That's wonderful. And I love that if this is the first draft, that's, I find, the best way to do it is just, like, pour it out. Um, I'm sure it's someone's quote. I can't remember whose. If someone knows, please put it in the chat. But um, the quote is, what does it say? Hold on, it, it just slipped my head. Um, hmm, blank. I just <laughs> totally blanked on me. It doesn't matter. Um, oh, yes, that the first draft is you telling the story to yourself. And so that's why I'm like, it, it's so great to just pour it out. It just I, I saw someone mention NaNoWriMo and my brain just went away. Um, so, yes, if none of you all have done NaNoWriMo, I highly encourage you to check out um, their stuff. It's National Novel Writing Month, which happens in November every year. That's how I started writing um, the first project that I, I'm working on, which is my um, sci-fi. Um, and then this one emerged at some point after. But yeah, they do NaNoWriMo in November, and then uh, April has NanoCamp in July right now. Is it July still? Yeah, July also has NanoCamp, which I join all of them. So what are you going to be working on in this next sprint? Uh, Imani says, I'll do 35 and then 7 minutes off, but 25 is best for my brain. Yeah. And wow, Lila, I got 520. Y'all, yes, y'all write and edit fast. I'm, I'm s slow, and I like it that way. Uh, thank you, Jessica. That quote is Terry Pratchett. Perfect. See, I knew somebody would know. Someone, uh, some of the 96 people here would know. Um, all right. So, Lila has done NaNoWriMo twice. Got stuck at about, yeah, 30,000 words. That's, um, you know what? That's because it's the it's the muddy middle. Let me see how many words I'm on on this edit right now. Um, I'm at 45,100. Uh, 45, I can't, now numbers in English are so hard. 45,117 words. Um, the, I mean, it has way more, right? But edited. And yes, the middle is the hardest part. But, you know, um, I think there there are so many times look I actually have this note right here that says write ugly because I'm reading some of my stuff and I'm like cringe like dialogue especially <sighs> but you know that's why there's editors and I am excited for my editor to dive into this and be like hey Laya have you considered this isn't this no I hadn't no I hadn't because I've been staring at this document for so many months now 
right? So it's just getting through it, just getting through it. You've got this. All right, so yeah, I see that some of you all have done NaNoWriMo. Um, and Shara says, I'm going through documents and adding up numbers, so no, no writing yet. No problem, no problem. Do you feel like you're getting something accomplished? I think that's what matters, even if you just move forwards 1%. Yes, all right, friends. So, are we ready for the sprint? I know I am. Whatever you're gonna be working on, grab your project, take a sip of water, make yourself comfy. And let's get started. I will see you in 25 minutes. Happy productivity.
Well, how? How was that 25 minutes? Let me go ahead and turn it off. Wow. How did y'all do? Let me uh, switch it to a five minute break. Although this is probably going to be our last sprint today. But how did it go for you, my friends? How do you feel? Did you get anything done? Did you move forward even if it was 1% in whatever you wanted to move forward in? I sure did. I... Um, I did not mean to do that, hold on. <laughs> Just deleted something from my document. Um, which reminds me, before you do anything else, save your work. I'm going to do that right now. Um, so save your work, save your work, save your work. I am sending a copy of my work to myself and it's also saving into a separate drive that's not on the computer and it's also on a Google Drive and on the app that I use for writing. So I have lots of copies. So yeah, if you feel like you're in the groove, keep working, but please make sure that you set your own times to where you do take a pause because it's just as important for your brain to focus than it is to pause. Imani, I feel so relieved to have momentum for the day. Utterly grateful for such a low stress and grounding start with everyone. Thank you, Laya. Yay. <laughs> Thanks. I appreciate that. Um, so yeah, let me know if you wanted to do another sprint, I could consider it. Honestly, I'm super hungry. Um, and I want to go have breakfast, but either way, we're going to do a little bit of movement seated right where we are. So go ahead and if you want to join me for a little stretch, for a little movement, go ahead and bring yourself to a comfortable seat. Uh, thank you all so much. Take a moment to lengthen your spine, relax your shoulders, lengthen your neck. And maybe you soften your gaze or you close your eyes if you want to. Just take a moment to listen to the sounds around you. Whether they're sounds of nature, sounds of people, sounds of life. And just give yourself thanks for having showed up whether you showed up for the entire session or for just one sprint, for the chatter, whether you just got here. Can you utilize this moment to ground and to reconnect with yourself? Take a deep breath in through your nose, feeling your belly, your rib cage, your chest, side out. Again, deep breath in, fill up your entire body, front to back, side to side, top to bottom. There you go. One more, inhale. And exhale. Lengthen your neck a little bit more. Keep your eyes closed or open, breathe in. And as you breathe out, take your right ear to the right shoulder. Bring your neck to neutral as you inhale. Left ear to the left shoulder as you exhale. You don't have to go very far. Back through center as you breathe in. Bring your, chest, your chin to your chest as you breathe out. Inhale, lift your chin up, opening through the throat. Exhale, lower your chin back down to your chest. You can stay here or move your chin from collarbone to collarbone for a moment, from shoulder to shoulder. And then slowly bringing your neck back to neutral. Take a couple rows with your shoulders one way. And then the other. Noticing how you feel here. Now lengthen your spine as you inhale. And on your exhale, take your left hand to your right leg or to the side or the right side of the chair and let yourself twist toward the right. You could also use your desk or whatever you want for leverage as you let your body spiral and twist toward the side. One more breath. Come back through neutral as you breathe in. And as you breathe out, take your gentle twist to the other side, noticing how that feels in your spine, in your body, in your energy. And then come back to center. 
and on your inhalation stretch your arms in front of you opening your hands and then you can make fists and open and close your hands here maybe you rather shake or do circles with your wrists and just keep going I'm gonna press all the buttons except for the one to turn it off so just keep doing some movement here with your wrists and then slowly release soften your gaze or close your eyes and just take a moment to once again check in how do I feel after this session physically mentally energetically and whether I got everything done or a little bit done or none done can I connect to a moment of gratitude and compassion toward myself and perhaps repeat within or without thank you thank you thank you Take a deep inhalation through your nose and side out. If your eyes are closed, you can start to open them again. Hmm. Of course, if you haven't stood for a while and standing something that you're able to do and you want to do, maybe you stand for a moment, wiggle your legs, shake it out. All right, that says, worked on my drawing a bit. Wonderful, decided to add something else. Why not? I also took a few minutes to brush my bunny companion. Ah, bunny, what's your bunny's name? I wanna know. I'm glad you loved it. Lila says, this has been awesome, loving it. Um, I'm so glad Kat also enjoyed the session. I'm so glad that y'all enjoyed it. Imani, um, thank you so much for being here, y'all. I This is how I love to get things done and how I move forward in my life and how I stay focused also making time to relax a lot because that's what I need. I have chronic fatigue, <laughs> it's part of it. And so um, to me, scheduling an entire day of things often is overwhelming and then I end up doing absolutely nothing. Um, precious is her name, uh-huh, it's a precious name. <laughs> I love that. Um, yeah, so if you enjoyed this session, know that there is another one. It might not have showed up on Inside Timer just yet, but it should soon. And it is scheduled for Friday, which is two days from now. Same time, same place. So if you are in the Eastern uh, time in the US, that would be 9 a.m. If you are in Central European time, that's 3 p.m. All the other times, please check out on Google. <laughs> I know those two because those are the ones that I move in. Okay, says, yes, I also have chronic fatigue. I see you. I'm sorry. I feel you. And we can still get things done. Just knowing knowing your rhythm and what works for you. Lila, wonderful. I will see you then. All right. So, folks, um, I hope that you've enjoyed the session. Gabby, it says, it looks like my other comment was erased. Oh, I was just saying, I'm glad I found you here on Insight Timer. Oh, yeah, probably. Thank you so much. I'm glad that you found me on here. Um, yes, I will see you all on Friday. I appreciate you being here, taking the time to take care of yourself and find a way that works for you to create whatever it is that you are creating today. Thank you, Annette. Annette says, I love your content. Thank you so much. I'm glad that you do. Um, Kay says, I like this. It helped me remind me to take the breaks. Yes, I think taking the breaks is huge. I honestly do not know how... So many people function working hours at an end. I honestly don't think they do. <laughs> I, I, I couldn't. I couldn't. So I, it's great that it's for some. For me, it's like small amount of work, break. Small amount of work, break. Small amount of work, long break. And then maybe more work happens or it doesn't. But to me, it's more about what is it that's the bare minimum that I have to get done today? What are the things that are non-negotiable? And I do that. Um, and then the rest may or may not happen. Okay, that's all right. Who else is beating me about it other than me, <laughs> right? I don't have a boss. It's, it's me deciding what is worth my intention, my attention, and my creativity. <sighs> Thank you, Mani. Yes, so again, if you missed it, Friday, I'll be here again, same time, same place. On Monday, there won't be a physical practice. Uh, maybe there will be, I'm not sure. But starting the Monday after, what I'm hoping to do is 
an hour before this, I will be doing a movement practice for like 30 minutes. If you've joined those before, um, they're accessible practices to just get you started and, and set the intention for your week. Um, and then I might do uh, a session after the hour um, of productivity because it's Monday. And I would love to show you how I organize my Mondays if you're interested and we can all chat about that while we sip on our water, coffee, tea, or whatever. All right, it's been so lovely to connect to all of you. It's also nice to see so many folks here also want to acknowledge those of you who are not participating in the chat that is absolutely okay i see you i feel you i love you anyway i hope that this was productive for you um and that it aligned with whatever you needed today wonderful so cat says yes interested wonderful so then i will i will start to put some of those on the schedule um and if you know folks that could benefit from these you know um i feel like being a creative being a writer can get lonely sometimes and my partner loves me very much and also doesn't want to hear about all this all day because that's not what he does, right? And so it's really cool to find other folks that um, are wanting to connect in this way. We can work on very different projects and yet create this synergy all together. Uh, you have such an organized office. Okay, gee, no I don't. I have an organized corner. If I turn the camera around, okay, it's not... It is fairly organized, but it's organized chaos. Um, and. I organize it like three or four times a week because I just, I spread out, like anywhere I go, I just spread out. Um, but I do need this corner, <laughs> this particular corner to be in a certain state so that I can focus. And that's also why I have my desk facing out to the woods because I just want to see greenery. Even the deer distract me sometimes. So I have to keep it pretty, pretty tidy. So, um, but I'm glad that you like it. Um, also know that these, uh, you know, like you can't see the recording, but I do reuse these recordings so you can find them. All right, friends, you ended up cooking. That's what I got to do. I'm so hungry. So thank you for saying that. And um, if you haven't drank any water today, please drink water, feed yourself, love yourself, especially if you're having a hard time, like just give yourself a hug. Do one tiny, tiny thing for yourself today that can support you and make you feel a little bit better. All right, folks, thank you so much for being here, and I will see you again on the next session. Bye, everyone. Mm -hmm.